Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon here with Ballas Home Flipping. And this is the HR Rich, what I was talking about yesterday. I put the tuning fork blade on here. This one has a higher pitch ding. It's uh, not as resonant. You can actually hear it more flipping than you can actually hitting it. Um, but here's the thing about this ballast song. I wanted to go over all of the pros and cons because I do think that this is amazing. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight something really quick because, you know, in the ballast song community, there's a huge chunk of people that kind of criticize um, China for you know, clones and low quality and all of that stuff. And I just wanted to start off by saying that not only is this thing extremely high quality, but there is a lot of passion that comes out of China when it comes to making ballast songs. And I think a lot of people end up holding the stigma of clones and cheaper price and all of this stuff um, against uh, Chinese makers and China in general and there's already a lot of flack China has for TikTok and other things in politics. So I just wanted to start off by saying that, um, you know, regardless of anyone's biases or complaints about China, this is a quality product. It's original, true craftsmanship behind it, and a lot of passion really goes behind this. This Balasong came with a card that tells about the history and the design thought process of ancient uh, Chinese uh, coins and that's actually the basis of the design and it's really nice and I can tell you that it goes super hand in hand and it's just beautiful and all of that stuff but anyway let's go over the pros and cons of this ballast song because now that I have the tuning fork blade on here it definitely does flip a lot differently than the other blade which is a good thing because you do want a different experience but in my opinion I must say that in my opinion not only does this look cleaner, but it does flip better with the tuning fork. Um, and it's kind of just as I expected, you know, with that blade having the counterbalance on uh, the adjacent side of the handles, you just know that it's going to flip better. I mean, come on now. The other one looked like a freaking, you know, pirate sword, which in my opinion looks like a good design, but it just didn't flip the best. Um, yeah, this one definitely flips as good as the uh serpent striker v3 if not better because this has a slightly less um handle bias to it so this is more neutral than the serpent striker v3 and the serpent striker v3 is handle heavy so it's handle bias and this one i think is still handle bias but it's way less than that so yeah and i believe these handles are also a bit longer as well um, so it flips similarly to like uh, a Kraken, for example, or the Prisma. But I think this actually flips better than a Prisma. Not just because I don't like the design of a Prisma, but I actually think this does flip better than a Prisma. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, so that is the, the pros is that this is a good flipper. It's a great design. I do like the carbon fiber scales. Normally, I would like G10 more, but I think the um, the feeling of carbon fiber is actually a little nicer to me than G10, only because G10 is, like, really rough when it's completely raw, and I think even if you don't sand down the uh, carbon fiber, it's not as rough, or at least from the only three ballast songs I've had with carbon fiber on them, they haven't been as rough as G10. But, uh, yeah, this is just a nice ballast song. Now, for the cons... Because there's just a few cons, but there are a lot of, um, kind of, not really moving parts, but just something I noticed. There was, like, a slight, like, rattle that I heard. It's gone now, uh, but I, there was some squeaking and some rattling, and I think it had to do with both the barrel spacers or the zen pins. I feel like the zen pin in the center here... Um, was able to rotate almost as if it had a barrel spacer over the pin itself but I added oil to both the barrel spacers and the pin and that squeaking and rattling went away so pretty much solved the problem but yeah besides that a lot of people were wondering where and how to get this and all I can say is that this was in a, a very limited um, drop and I think that it was actually only exclusive to 
China. But yeah, that's as far as I know about it, that's all I really know. I'm not going to depth about how I got my hands on one, but uh, I, I have my sources. Um, anyway, that's pretty much today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and got to enjoy looking at this thing with the uh, tuning trainer blade. Just look at that thing. It is a magnificently gorgeous thumbnail. That This will be the thumbnail. There you go. And anyway, enjoy your day. I'll see you later. Yeet.